Recently, I've been using the modern internet on my ancient Macintosh system, and you guys have been asking me, what is this, how do I get it, because this seems like magic. Well, to put it simply, it's just Firefox, but it's modern Firefox, and it actually works surprisingly well even on macOS Lion. Now it does help that I'm using a Mac Pro in this instance, but even on an older system, it's still able to actually open up the browser and, you know, do browser things. I don't even have the latest version installed on my system right now, but I just wanted to show you guys that this is indeed possible, and the reason why it's possible is because of i3 Raleigh. If it wasn't for this awesome project known as Firefox Dynasty, we wouldn't be sitting here today. And if it wasn't for my Discord server, and more specifically Breaking Games, actually introducing me to this awesome project, I wouldn't be using it right now because honestly, I don't know how I would have discovered this because I haven't seen a lot of talk about this project online, but this is constantly being updated with new releases of Firefox and it is surprisingly plug and play. It just works. Now, first off, you just have to go to the GitHub page and everything will be linked in the description down below but you just go to the releases here. There are nightly builds available, but you could just get the actual release here. So if you're not sure, just get the release, which is typically the latest. You download the zip file, extract the zip file, and then move Firefox into your applications and you're ready to use it. Now, this of course does support 10.7 all the way up to at least Mojave, which is what is actually supported on the uh, GitHub page itself, so at least Mojave. 10.15 is the oldest that official Firefox actually supports, so you can easily use this on all of those in-between versions of Intel Mac OS. Now, when you have this installed, you're ready to use it just as is, but I am not saying that this should be like a complete replacement for your modern alternatives, especially when it comes to security and logging into accounts. I still recommend, you know, not logging into accounts on a browser like this, mainly just because this is of course old, you know, an old operating system. So, you know, don't do anything risky unless you really know what you're doing. But let me just say, I'm not responsible for anything. I'm just showing you guys that this browser does exist. It's an awesome project, but just be careful. I've used this browser a lot already, especially when it comes to YouTube. But even for stuff like this, I typically stay signed out. But as you can see, it's able to play just fine. And this even does support ambient mode and all the other features, because again, this is modern Firefox. So it's able to work just fine it loads just fine depending on your system it might be slower but you know upgrades are also possible and one recommended if not essential extension to have is h264ify now this really helps out especially on older or lower end systems this makes it so that youtube itself uses the h264 codec which is you know the name and it just makes it easier for the system to play back the video and it really helps out with performance and efficiency as well. Now I also have my MacBook over here. Now this is actually screen sharing because well it was just easier to set up considering I have no backlight on the MacBook here. So as you can see it's up to date and it's running on a Core 2 Duo with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Now I will say that when I initially tried out this project, I did actually have to do some research here within a Mac Rumors forum to get it up and running on Mac OS Lion. Ever since it's actually been updated to version at least 138 here, I was able to download it and transfer it onto the MacBook here, which is also on Mac OS Lion, and it was able to open up just fine without any extra stuff. So it really is a plug and play solution. One more thing, when it comes to actually updating Firefox here, you can't officially do it through the about page here. It'll always say it's up to date. So the best thing to do or really the only thing you can do is just download the new version from the GitHub page and install it as if it's just a new application. I'm pretty sure it should save your preferences, but uh, be sure to go ahead and back those up just in case. So hopefully this quick video helped you guys out to actually get some more use out of your old Mac systems. And uh, even though the requirements say one thing, in reality, anything is possible. If this video helped you out, then consider leaving a thumbs up. And if you want to see more awesome content in the future, then consider subscribing. But as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.